Hello my perfume lovers, addicts, fanáticas de perfume como yo. Welcome back to another video and today I am doing a tag video. I was tagged by Janique Loves, which is, uh, I'm new to her channel. I love her accent, so thank you so much for tagging me. And this tag was uh, originally created by Simply Aisha. Um, so it's a very fun tag, very interesting, of course. It's always a lot of hard questions when you have to choose one fragrance for a question is always a hard question. So these are my answers. And of course, we all know taste changes and all that type of thing. So this is for today. These are my answers for today. And it was a tough one. So, okay, let's get into the first question. Okay, so the first question is, what is your boss babe scent? So um, I actually have a video on boss babe or boss scents or whatever um so there's a lot it's hard to choose but i decided to go with one that i didn't even have in my video because i don't know i just i was just looking through my fragrances and this came to mind so what i have here is luxury rouge by riffs and this is a dupe for rouge malkit by armani Privé, the private line this is a tuberose but it is very sexy and it is strong and it is just beautiful and of course, I have to spray, you know. I do have, oh yes, this is beautiful. You do have to love tuberose, but this is a creamy tuberose. It is just done in a great, beautiful way. And um, I do have a sample of Rouge Malachite. So I have compared, and this is a great, great dupe. And you know, they try to do the whole, the bottle, you know, but the the original bot is much more beautiful i you know we have to give it credit okay so that's that the next question is what is your bed your go-to bedtime scent okay so that would be rich warm addictive by sarah so i just recently did my um honey uh, and coffee fragrances so this one is was in there because it has the honey this is just yummy it's it's warm and it's addictive just like it says in the name it has the tobacco it has the honey it has a little bit of coconut and vanilla it is just yummy this is just a yummy fragrance it is very soft so it's perfect to go to bed won't you know be strong or anything and it just is comforting and cozy that's that the next one is what is your hug in a bottle so when i think about uh what is your hug in a bottle I think about uh, when you hug someone, you know, it's, it's like something warm, something uh, comforting, something. And I think about powdery. And I think most people who have done this video agree that a hug in a bottle is definitely something powdery. So powdery is usually, you know, vanillas or musk and that type of thing. So what I thought of was Want by D Squared. This is a very unique bottle, as you can see, the big, uh, you know, this, the big ball on the top is really interesting. And this is a beautiful vanilla. It has tons of vanilla, different types of vanilla in it. It's very powdery. It has some rose too. This is just so cozy, so beautiful. And it also could be a nice bedtime scent. I have worn it to bed many, many times. So this is Want by D Squared. My hug uh, in a bottle. Now the next one is what is your secret your secret weapon of mass seduction which when I first read it I thought it said mass destruction <laughs> I know I'm stupid and I was thinking like hmm like destruction like what what scent could I destroy the world with no I'm just kidding um so seduction mass seduction so the one that there was some contenders here. This was this is a hard one because I do love my sexy fragrances. Those are my favorite types. Um, so I had my husband and my son. I had them smell uh, uh, La Belle Le Parfum. I had them smell um, Dior Addict, and I had them smell Oud Satin Mood. And they both agreed that Oud Satin Mood, which what I have here is a dupe called In the Mood by Juliana Perfumes. Um, also, um, Alexandri has a great dupe for this called Nostal Nostalgia, uh, but this is, it has that um, powderiness and it has this type of oud vibe, but it's not too much. It's very, it's sexy, okay? And it also could be a boss. It is just beautiful and it, ugh, what can I say? There you go. Weapon of mass seduction, not destruction. 
<laughs> seduction okay okay so the next one i have is um what is a fragrance you never wear but can't part can't part with okay so that would be it would be a few but i thought of this one amber oud gold edition by al haramain so this one is a really good do for el Bapura by jerjoff which i have i have a little sample is really close um it's how do i explain this it's kind of like an oz ozonic aquatic fruity um type of fragrance and i never wear it i never wear it but i don't want to get rid of it because i feel like one day one day we will we'll you know we'll we'll make our our how do you say we'll get along and we and and maybe i'll like her one day but for now she's there and i just can't get rid of her but i don't use her and i don't ever want to use her okay the next one is what is what is one of your favorite fragrances that you don't wear enough? So that would be my baby Blanche Bay by Lekidi Imagini. <laughs> okay, it's hard to say. I was going to look it up. Right. Blanche Bay by Liquidis Imaginis. This one is a beautiful, creamy, milky, a little bit of tuberose, but very, very light. You can barely tell. It's just so milky and creamy. It's beautiful. But... But I have to be in the right mood. I have to be in a soft type of mood. And um, yeah, but it's a freaking masterpiece. This is beautiful. That's that. Okay, the next one. What is the fragrance you would recommend for a beginner that wants to smell unique? Okay, so this is the thing about this question. Um, a beginner, a beginner is someone that hasn't really explored a lot hasn't explored a lot of fragrances so they are learning their taste or their taste is pretty limited to designers so i thought i'm not going to recommend a designer fragrance because if they want to smell different um i'm not going to recommend a fragrance that uh that anyone could just go in store go in Ulta, sephora whatever macy's and just buy so and then i wouldn't want to recommend a niche fragrance because someone who's just starting out i wouldn't want to recommend them to spend you know, more than $100, $200, $300 on something that, what if they don't like it? What if it's not their taste? Then, you know, they're going to hate me forever. So I'm not going to recommend a niche fragrance. Um, so this is what I chose. This is what I chose. So this is affordable and it's unique and it's different. So this is Ashwad by La Tapa. Okay, this one, um, I, um, Angelique, um, someone I met in, in Mercari, she uh, recommended this one um well she sent me a sample and i really fell in love with this this is so affordable i think it's like 25 dollars or or maybe 30 for this big bottle and it has rose it has musk but it has some fruits in it and um some other things i forgot i'll put the notes and this just makes it so unique nobody's gonna be wearing this i guarantee the normal people around us nobody's wearing this nobody's wearing this okay unless it gets on tiktok and then you know it's over but you know <laughs> nobody's wearing this and this is so unique and it's really nice so that's my recommendation okay the next one that i have the question is what is a fragrance that you love that everyone else seems to hate okay so i love this fragrance it's in my top 10 for life and a lot of people seem to hate her my golden brick Oud, Shagaf Oud by a Swiss Arabian, beautiful rose and, and Oud and praline and all those beautiful things. How could anyone hate her? She's just strong and she's just so luxurious. So I guess that it's so strong that that is what puts a lot of, and it had a little bit of Oud, but I don't know. I have no problem with Oud. So, you know, what can I say? That's that. The next one I have, oh, this was a hard one. What is an overhyped fragrance that you currently own? Okay, so overhyped, right? Overhyped um, would mean that so many, so many people talk about it, but it's like, it's not as good as it, as they're making it seem. So I don't have a fragrance like that, that is just so overhyped and it's not that good. I mean, I would say BR, um, BR540, but I only have a travel size and it was gifted to me. So I didn't want to count that because I didn't buy it with my own money. Um, but I will 
tell you angel share is a very hyped fragrance but it is hyped with good reason and i love it it's in my top 10 for life it's in my top five for life it's a beautiful cognac cinnamon oak praline beautiful for fall right now it's perfect oh love it so it's very hyped and i have it okay now remember this is a hundred and i think it's 197 for 1.7 ounce you can find this same thing in brooklyn fragrance lover by alessandria i keep telling you so you can save your money it's a beautiful bottle yes but nobody can see the bottle okay so the next one i have is uh what is on the oh, i'm smelling the angel share and it's just beautiful it's perfect holiday vibes okay um sorry i got distracted by smell uh, what fragrance is on the chopping block? Okay, on the chopping block, we have MAC, Velvet Teddy MAC. This is a softer version of um, Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford, but it has honey and it is a perfect fall fragrance. It's really nice. I just, for some reason, I don't know if my taste changed or if it's just this season or this year, I don't know, but I haven't been feeling like wearing Tobacco Vanilla or this one. Um, I did spray it on my hand and it was really nice, but it's just, I feel like it's just not my, it's not my thing right now. Um, I'm looking for tobacco. I'm looking more at like, um, like Herod by Parfums de Marley, which I have the Moira dupe by Ocha, um, and just other, other types of things. So that's that for sale on my Mercari. I'll link it in the description. <laughs> okay. The next one is, what's the last fragrance that you purchased? The last fragrance I purchased is Miel Extas by Navitas by um, collaboration with my Dear Makeup Diary. A beautiful honey, um, honey and apricot fragrance. And it has that chocolate in there that I really appreciate. It's really nice. It has a lot of other things, but those are the things that stand out, stand out to me. It's the honey, the chocolate and the apricot that they're just there and this has great longevity the bottle is so luxurious so beautiful that's that um the last question is what is oh no 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 not the last question um what is at the top of your wish list at the top do you mean one or do you mean a few well i'm just going to give you the top that's on my wish list is guidance by amouage i think i've mentioned it a few times so i am looking at that one but it is 360 dollars. the lowest i've seen it is like 330 so i don't know i'm gonna have to do some negotiating with some sellers or something but anyways and there's some dupes i just found out thanks to sunny and c i just found some new dupes so we'll see i have a sample i'm gonna have to compare um and what is your number one fragrance for life that would have to be alien essence absolute which this is just a um an like a plain bottle that i put it in there alien essence absolute by mugle is discontinued it's beautiful it has the original alien dna with myrrh and incense and vanilla because i am a freaking vanilla lover and i'm just wasting it like it's so cheap okay oh my goodness why did i do that um and now i'm eating this this has this minty menthol vibe to it and it's just intoxicating hypnotizing addicting it's beautiful i don't wear it enough because it's so special i don't feel like if i don't know it's just something i just can't wear something that's so special to me every day because i'm not a signature fragrance type of person that i wear the same thing every day i like to wear something different every day and of course since i have so many why would i wear the same thing every day um but also wanted to quickly mention that juliana perfumes has scarlet letter which is now getting darker the liquid in there so this is the dupe for alien Ass essence absolute is really good it's a good dupe a really good dupe so i'm really happy for this because i'm not paying that again i'm not, whatever i paid for that alien essence absolute i'm not paying that again <laughs> but um but yeah, so, and I heard that Dua has one also. I have to try it whenever, you know, because I'm, you know, I have a lot to, I don't need another dupe right now. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching and thank you, Johnny, uh, for tagging me. And yeah, I hope you like my answers and I hope you get to know me better. And yeah, that's why I wore my 
my pink makeup because pink is my favorite color and just wanted to go all out because I want to give you my best self because that's what I like to do. Okay. Thank you for watching everyone. Until next time. Bye.